have excavator track types got your head in the spin? Well, check out these five considerations when choosing between a steel or rubber tracked excavator. First up is excavator size. Often you'll find steel tracks on heavier excavators as they handle larger loads and tougher conditions, whereas rubber tracks are reserved for smaller to mid-sized machines. Next is on to traction. Steel tracks excel when it comes to providing top tier traction, while rubber tracks are better suited for those softer surfaces like asphalt and grass. Then there's the machine's vibrations. Steel tracks can transmit far more vibrations, which leads to faster operator fatigue, where rubber tracks offer smoother, more comfortable ride overall. Next up is the issue of noise. Steel tracks are quite noisy, especially on hard surfaces, while rubber tracks are ideal for those noise sensitive environments. But finally, the biggest factor is surface damage. Steel tracks will damage paved surfaces, leading to costly, unwanted repairs, whereas rubber tracks are more gentle, minimizing your impact. It's worth noting that rubber pads can be installed on large steel excavators if necessary, but you'll want to check in with your supplier within plenty of time to organize it. So the big question is, which style are you opting for?